Hello beautiful people, we are back with another recipe video for you. This is our Thai inspired spicy banana blossom salad. So for this recipe we're going to be using some fresh banana blossom. You can find this in exotic fruit markets or pre-sliced from East Asian supermarkets. The rest of the ingredients will be listed below. So you're going to start by putting your fresh banana blossom into a large bowl and then begin to just break it up a little bit. You don't want to confuse this with the tinned banana blossom because it will not work the same way. You can now add in your pea shoots or watercress leaves or any other kind of light leafy salad vegetable. We're now going to add in about two thirds of a cup of freshly chopped coriander and mint. Now add in one finely sliced spring onion. I'm now going to add in some finely julienned carrots. You don't have to be this particular, you can just slice them up. But it does add a certain texture to the dish. Make sure you mix it up really well. You can add any kind of crunchy salad veg into this. Something like radish or mouli would work really well. So you're going to grab your pestle and mortar and you're going to throw in between 2 and 10 hot Thai chilies, anywhere between 2 and 4 garlic cloves and about a thumb of peeled and sliced ginger. Go ahead and mash this up or if you don't have a pestle and mortar you can use a hand blender instead. You are now going to add in about three tablespoons of coconut sugar. This will help you form a paste. We are using some gluten-free soy sauce, but you can use tamari or any other soy sauce of your preference, like coconut aminos, if you try to avoid soy, that works fine. You're going to add it into the pestle and mortar and mash it up. You now want to add in the juice of about half a lime. And also remember to like, subscribe and share. If you do choose to make this, drop us a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you thought. You're going to add in your vegetarian vegan stir fry sauce. This kind of acts as a replacement for fish sauce in traditional Thai recipes. I added in about two tablespoons. This salad is quite forgiving. You can be generous with the proportions and ingredients and you'll still have a very flavoursome dish. You are now going to add in about two tablespoons of pure sesame oil. You don't want a blended type because it will completely change the flavour profile. Toasted sesame oil would work really well for this if you cannot get hold of pure sesame oil. To a pan on medium to low heat, you're going to add a few tablespoons of sesame oil. You don't want to turn the heat up too high as it will burn the oil. Add about three finely sliced shallots and three to four lime leaves. Don't worry about the size of these lime leaves because you're going to pull them out at the end. Add a pinch of salt to the shallots just to help prevent them from burning. Once the onions have gone a little bit translucent, add in two more crushed garlic cloves. You are now going to add in about one teaspoon of lemongrass. 
We used dry because it was all we had to hand, but you could use fresh as it does work better. Cook it down until the shallots have browned. At this point, you can pull out the lime leaves as you don't need them. You now want to combine the cooked elements to the sauce you made earlier. Pour the sauce blend onto the salad and mix it through thoroughly. Just finish with the other half of the lime. Obviously, use as much or as little as to taste. And that's it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to smash the like button. Remember to follow us on Instagram and in the comments section, leave your feedback if you do choose to make this recipe. And last but not least, remember to subscribe.